Hi everyone, so in today's video, I sold Simplicity 8693. I sold View A, um, so it's a long sleeve collared um, shirt with, um, well the collar's kind of off the shoulder with a strap, and then you have your cuffs. Um, so easy, very easy pattern. The hardest thing would probably be the buttonholes and then maybe like one of the sleeves, you have to kind of like lap it over. But if I was able to figure that out, uh, you will be able to. <laughs> Uh, I would definitely make this again. I'm already thinking about it. So I have this watermelon fabric, it says. Let's just do it like this. Yeah, I don't have to get the brain. <laughs> and it's real pretty. And I'm thinking it'll look good if I do view A, but um, do the sleeves of view B. So that's what I'm thinking. But you all let me know because I know sometimes I have beautiful fabric and then the pattern I put it with. And I'm like, what were you thinking? It just... <laughs> sometimes it just doesn't go great so um let me know uh if you think it'll be cute in this cotton fabric that i have um so let's hop into the video okay so this is simplicity 8693 i sell view a so we have the collar pieces the strap the cuffs um and the sleeves and these are the different views and then if we flip it over Um, these are the suggested fabrics. I'm using a cotton, you need thread, buttons, um, and that's it, yeah. So this is the back, back view as well. And then, oh, this is something I forgot to mention, but this pattern has a lot of ease because per the body measurements, I really should have cut, um, yeah, I really should have done a 16, but I didn't have it. My pattern only goes up to a 14. Um, so I was able to, you know, squeeze in it. <laughs> um, maybe I would have wanted the 16 for a little more, you know, room, but, um, I'll just take it out. Like if I make it again, I'll just go out a little bit on the side. So it'll be fine. But yeah, the 14 fit. Um, yeah. And also shout out to the main course because she had this, uh, sewing secrets video that she did. And she had the stand. This is not like the identical stand, but it's something similar. And she was like, she puts her pattern instructions on top of there. I was like, oh my God, that is so smart. <laughs> so I'll link the video that I'm talking about um, where she shares some things. So if you want to go check out her video and um, go to the Amazon store and buy those, because that's exactly what I did. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's make our shirt. Okay. I've already stay stitched the pieces, the front and back pieces along the neckline. So with the right sides together, I'm going to pin the shoulder seam. And as always, I can't tell what's the right or wrong size, so I did put some tape on it to let me know. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go and stitch across here. And for the collar piece, um, I'm to cut four of them and interface two, so I've already done that. So these are my two interface collar pieces. And then these are the ones that are not interface. So I've already sewn the interface one. And so just to do the um, uninterface one <laughs> with the notches. Well, finding my notches, right? So this end right here. And then I'm just going to sew across here. So I have the collar facing and collar stitched together right here. And then with right sides together, I'm going to attach them, leaving the notched edge free. So I'm just going to pin. I'm going to stitch uh, this side and then leave this part open with the notches and then I tried to match up my seams 
the best way I could. So hopefully they'll be pretty aligned. Okay, so now I have my two pieces of stitch together and I'm just gonna trim and under stitch. Alrighty, so now I have it trimmed and I'm just gonna open it up and under stitch. So uh, under stitch as far as I can go down um, and just stitch my seam allowance to this piece right here. So let's do that. Alrighty, so I've turned it to the inside and understitch uh, to the facing piece, and now it is a is a, <laughs> and now it's time to attach it to the shirt. So with the right sides together. Along the part that I stay stitched. I'm gonna attach the facing, which they say is the uninterfaced part. That's what they say. So first, let me yeah, let me slow down first. Um, <laughs> but let me match up the seam right here. I'm gonna do that as best as I can. And then find my notch. Ouch. Okay, and I'm gonna go in the direction say to base um, along this line here. So let's go do that. Okay, so I have this base together and I did it in yellow for the top thread because sometimes I can't tell. So the shoulder strap, I'm going to pin it with right sides together lengthwise and stitch across there. And then I'm just gonna go and stitch across here. So now I'm just gonna trim my strap piece that I've sewn. And then I'm gonna turn it to the right side. Okay, so I've already pressed it and next it's time to attach it to the shirt. So it says the strap from earlier, match the small and large dots and pin that together to the front. I think one is fine. So then base the strap to the um, collar piece. And I could have did this in one step if I had known it. So this don't need the bigger be quiet. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna base this together and then the next step. <laughs> this is the front and the back facing so I'm going to pin the notched sides with the right sides together Ouch. and go ahead and stitch right here also Okay, so the facing, I've stitched it together and then just did a little overlock stitch on my machine um, for the rest. So with the right sides together, I'm gonna match my seams um, and attach it to the collar piece. And also on this side, I'm going to leave it open so I can put the strap through here. So I'll stitch from here, leave that open, and then stitch from all the way down there. Alrighty, so like I said, I'm going to leave the space open right here for the strap to put it through. And then uh, stitch all of this up so it should be my top, my collar piece, and then the facing.
Okay, now that I have all of that stitched, I'm going to pin my shoulder strap to the other side. So I'm just going to take it and stick it in here, matching up the dots, the large one. Can y'all see? <laughs> so the large dot, then my large dot, and my small dot. Slide it through. And okay. And then I'm just gonna go and stitch across to finish that on up. So now it says to understitch my facing piece. So I'm just gonna trim this and then understitch the seam allowance. Make sure the seam allowance is facing this way towards the facing and stitch down um, all around. Alrighty, just like I did the color piece earlier. Alrighty, so I press my facing down and then it says to tack the uh, facing to the shoulder seam. So really I just tried to like stitch in the ditch right there. It's starting to look like a shirt. <laughs> so excited. So it's time to move on to the sleeves, my dear. Okay, <clears throat> and they like to do the open sleeve method like I like. Okay, so my sleeve, and this is for the right side. So my little dot right here goes right here. Let's hit center seam. And then match up my notches and my dots. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side um, of this and then we're gonna come back and talk about the left side because uh, that's the part where it's tricky, tricky, tricky. Okay, so I have this sleeve done. Well, not done, but pinned. And then on the other side, on the other side, it says to lap it over, keeping the collar out of the way. So I just lapped it over trying to match up the dots and then I'm going to use a pen to kind of like hold that in place. Um, I really should have probably basted that together but essentially um, I'm just trying to get it to look like the other side so it can be one piece and I flipped it to the right side and then my dot would match up to that those dots on the shoulder seam again and just um, pin like normal. Okay, so I got this one pinned, and this is for the part that I had to lap over. So let's hope for good things. I'm gonna go stitch these bad boys up, and we'll be back. Okay, and so this is my sleeve for the um, the left side, wasn't it? Yeah, the part where it was a little tricky. So at least I didn't get the collar, and I think I'm okay with this. I don't know if this is how it's supposed to go, but I'm okay with it. It's cute, yeah. Okay, so I've got my sleeve on. So the next step is with right sides together. I'm going to pin from pin the shirt um, and the sleeves to sew the whole thing. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so I have a pin and I'm gonna go stitch. I'm gonna start at the bottom and then just stitch all the way to the shoulder for both sides. So now it's time to move on to the cuff. And I have already interfaced it, and it said to, you can see it against the white, white. Um, press on the unnotched edge five eighths, and then trim to three eighths. So then, with right sides together, uh, match the small and the large dot to the end of my sleeve that I just gathered here. So, let's see if we can do that. And I'm gonna do Right side to right side. It's like two maybe. And I'm supposed to have notches, but I guess I didn't put a notch in my sleeve part. Uh, and so right now I'm just trying to match up the dots and then I'll go through and gather to bring the sleeve in. <laughs> And then I'm just going to gather, so I'm going to find those threads. Okay, I'm going to take those stitches and pull. Okay, and then spread it out a little bit. Where my stitches go? And let me pull a little bit on this end. I think that's cool. And then I can always spread it out if I need to. And then just pin on around. I'm gonna go and sew all around. So I have my sleeve on my um the cuff on my sleeve <laughs> and i pressed it towards the cuff and then it says to fold along the fold line now i thought i made it all the way but i guess i didn't but this is my fold line um, so basically i'm just gonna fold it and stitch along the edges here Okay, so I've stitched it, so the directions say to trim. And turn it to the inside. Next, I'm supposed to fold this over, pin, and kind of like stitch in the ditch right here to um, make it look neat on the inside. But most of the time when I do that, I don't catch it all, so I'm gonna hand sew this part of the inside of it just hand sew it down um try to be as clean as i can okay so i have the inside of the cuff done and like i said i just hand sewed it so it doesn't look too bad and then i'm going to take it out and make my button holes put in my buttons and hem it so let's do that we're almost done
Hmm. Those look properly aligned. Dee, 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 dee. No, I look like that when I kind of went up too far. I don't think you can tell. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I love the top. Uh, looking forward to making it again. Let me know what you think. Thank you for spending some time with me today and be blessed.